Hey everyone, uh, it is uh, Tuesday, May 17th, 2022, and tonight I wanted to talk to you about the term life use, the legal term life use and what it means, and uh, it's uh, something that I think is very, very important to share because now I'm seeing uh, the difficulties that it can cause uh, without you knowing. And um, <clears throat> so I'm going to get right to it. The issue that ha that many people become aware of, and I think a lot of people do have some knowledge of now, is that uh, you do not want to have um, your parent or whoever, you know, whoever uh, older relatives in your family that, you know, want to give their their estate or their belongings or their home to their children or whoever else, you, uh, you, your, your best bet is to get all of that property out of their name. And uh, you have to do this five years prior to them going on Title 19 or needing constant care that they can't pay for. So, you know, the difficulty is, of course, that when you sign over your property to your children, we'll say, that's that's how it worked with me. Now, there was no question that I, I wasn't going, you know, that I was going to do anything like get the property signed over and say, well, guess what? You two are out of here. So it, it wasn't an issue, but I guess a standard uh, procedure is to grant the parents life use and uh, that's not only for their protection from say a children siblings whatever who decide yeah this is a great way for me to get my uh, parents home and and property and not have to uh, allow them to fit, live out their lives there it's also I assume to uh, protect uh, you know the children in the sense that you know if something happens to them and they're gone the their parents will still have life use of the home if uh you know they were uh, the children or the you know whoever they gave it to or uh, signed it over to was in an accident or died so there are reasons for it but the problem is that when you initially do the uh the signing over. So my parents did that with me probably 12 years ago. I, I'm not sure. So at least uh, maybe 2012, maybe 2010, something like that. So it was well beyond the five years that uh, they require where they cannot go after your personal property. So the problem that they don't tell you or that I wasn't told is that life use is does carry a value to it. So although you are now, or you and your siblings, I'm just going to say you. To, I'm going to use my own case to make this simpler. Say it now. It's in my name. The house is in my name. The property. I pay the taxes. So forth. But life use does have a value to it. And I'm going to read it. Uh, this is actually very easy to find. Um, and it's right right off uh, Google if you type in, what does life use mean legally in Connecticut? So this is just uh, for Connecticut. I don't know if this differs state to state, but um, it's very easy to find out. So it says, the life use is an ownership interest in the real estate. And the ownership interest has a value in the eyes of the Connecticut Department of Social Services. It is based on the actuarial tables for how long a person at a certain age is expected to live. So what you don't know when you're turning your, uh, that your parents have turned the property over to you is after that five years, the state still sees some value in their life use stake in the property. Now, 
the reason this is causing a problem for me right now is that when my mother was uh, put, needed to go into a, a facility when I got ill with cancer and could no longer take care of her, the life use was still in order. Now, not being a uh, an attorney and not having legal experience, what I made a bad assumption, and here's the old joke about don't make assumptions, um, is that I thought that meant, okay, as long as your parents or the you know the owners of the house, the elderly people want to live in the house and they're able to do so without constant nursing care there that's that's what it would entail well legally that is not at all what what life use means it literally is life use so the person could be completely uh, i i would assume i guess even on on uh you know being kept alive by machines although at that point i would i would think that they don't have any uh actual uh legal right to you know they wouldn't know what's going on but but barring that life use means just that life use so now uh where i'm being harassed and bothered completely by this uh the legal um representation of the facility my mother is in they have not relinquish the fact they they and they have the public records i know their legal team does so they must know that the the house and the property was signed over many years ago but there now is seeming to be an issue with the life use now this is very difficult to explain so i'm going to try to make it coherent so it's not confusing knowing this we were advised uh, approximately a year ago in 2021 to uh, remove the life use from the house for my mother. Now, I had to explain this to her and that it was not to make sure she could not come to the home ever again if she were able to. It is literally because they will not allow her to get on Medicaid. So we met with uh, my attorney at the time and did the paperwork and it was done and she no longer was entitled to life use of the house. Again, not to take that away from her, but to make sure that she had no assets that the state could claim and therefore not grant her Medicaid. So I have just found out today from my meeting with with um, my new attorney, uh, I, I, let's just say another attorney, that there seems to either be one of two things have happened here. Either my other attorney did not file this or complete the paperwork or there is a clerical error somewhere at the town hall or one way or another the records that my attorney was able to access showed that it's it almost seems like it's the opposite which would be granting her life use and even if that weren't the case uh and my mom was to say she passed away six months ago or she passes away in a week or two i don't think that they care because it would be the amount of time she stayed up until today which is over a year so they still would have a claim and this is extremely disturbing because i knew none of this my parents were not aware of this so you know, it's, I'm not looking to blame anyone, but here are the type of things that can come back at you and really cause you some very bad difficulties. So, um, tomorrow 
uh, my attorney and I are going to find out exactly what is going on here. And if that life use was not um, terminated uh, last year, this will be um, a, a, a another problem where, unfortunately, the uh, attorneys for the rest home facility and the state are not looking out for the best interest of my mother or myself. They are looking out for, well, the attorneys are looking out for the rest home facility trying to I'm sorry to have to be this way, but they will they will fuck you in any which way they can. They will harass you. I'm glad that I've kept uh, you know, as much documentation as I could. Um, you know, anything you can do. My advice to you also would be even if they hang up on you, get a voice recorder on your telephone. And in, in our state, in Connecticut anyway, I don't know if this differs state to state either, you must tell the party that they are being recorded if it is a phone call. So don't get yourself in legal trouble. I don't, I don't believe you can do that unless you tell them you're doing it. But that will protect you because you'll have a recording of the phone call if they proceed and don't have any objections to it. But... One thing you can do, you can record someone in person, though, without their knowledge, and I have done so on the few occasions that I went to the Social Security office in person. So you you can do that, and uh, like I said, though, over the telephone, you need to uh, make sure that they understand they're being recorded. So um, there it is. That's that's something to look out, look out for. Now, you assume... Hey, the house is signed over, no problems, we're all going to be good now, we don't have to worry about losing everything we have, and sure enough, there are loopholes, and, uh, you know, this is why uh, people go to law school and pass the bar, because they are the ones that are the experts on this, so my second big advice, piece of advice right there, make sure you're represent, represented by an attorney because you, 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 you're playing with people who are specifically um, hired and, and pretty much it's in their, their, their uh, system to go after you with no empathy, with no, uh, they, they just do not care. They don't, I mean, you can't really find a, a, a more difficult example than you know, trying to struggle through pancreatic cancer and they didn't, it didn't phase them in the least. They, they are fully looking to take, um, anything and everything they can. And, uh, it's, um, it's sad that we're in this position in this country. And, uh, I, I, I'm not going to be repetitive because I've said many times this before, but um, I'm going to try to get some added paperwork to my attorney, and um, I'm going to try to have a good night from here on because it's just not worth it. It you know your your whole life is taken up by this, but uh, you can't let it be. So you know, uh, do what you can to protect yourself. Please leave some comments below if you uh, like what you heard here or if you have anything to contribute i'd really like someone to let me know what what their experiences have been and please subscribe to the channel so i can uh get some better content on here and uh have some fun all right everyone have a great night uh be kind to one another including yourselves whenever you can and always be kind to animals that's it for me tonight peace